While you were trying to ignore Facebook's friend day because it's dominated by that one person who tags you in everything, you probably missed space tech for your clothes, the robotic challenge for soft things, and the solar sails of the future. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where apparently the Russian scientists at the space station think they can litter whenever they want. They go. Just kidding. It's basically a message in a bottle, but in flash drive form. But what if the aliens don't speak flash drive? Sparkin begitiba. NASA announced a new project this week that has sailing and space nerds alike stoked. It's building a probe that will be the agency's first to leave Earth's orbit while being propelled entirely by the power of sunlight on a space sail. From there, it'll do a slow drive-by of a distant asteroid. Just your basic, hey girl, are you gonna crash into me or are we good? Solar sails are actually easier to maneuver than traditional propulsion systems in some cases. But it's a good thing NASA's in charge, because sailing with me usually doesn't end so well. I'm sailing! I'm sailing! Robot fans have something new to look forward to. The Robot Soft Grand Challenge is coming up in April, and you, lucky friends, are looking at parts of the octopus-like submission from the Italian team. The Biorobotics Institute's creation must race across a sand pit, open a door by its handle, grab mystery objects, and avoid fragile obstacles while underwater. That's why they're betting on tentacles. What I see for the future, I hope very near, is the fusion of soft robots with traditional robots. I don't see a, a challenge between them, but a cooperation. But that still means the soft robot fail montage won't be nearly as entertaining as DARPA's, so you know what to do. Want to feel like an astronaut without having to don all that bulky, pressurized nonsense? Check out this Kickstarter for high-tech outerwear that uses the same insulating technology as NASA's spacesuits. There's a jacket, hat, and gloves that use a special blend of aerogel that's incredibly thin, light, and flexible. And it's warm enough to let you leave the puffy down parka at home. Hey George, can you feel this? Can you... Because no thanks. And finally, check out this upcoming art installation in Los Angeles. Flames is a cube of light points organized with an algorithm that uses pointillist techniques to simulate what humans actually see when we look at fire. This episode was brought to you by Go90.